Grace and peace to you, sisters and brothers. My name is Amy Wilson Feltz, and I am the pastor of St. Paul's United Methodist Church. Thank you so much for joining me for coffee again this morning. This is something that brings my heart joy, and that's something that I wanted to talk about this morning. What brings us joy? What, what brings us delight? Jason and I are parents, as you know, of three small children. Natalie is five, Augie is four, and Olivia K is nine months old. So we found out that we were expecting Olivia just after we agreed to move to El Paso. So it's been kind of a, a whirlwind, uh, moving and getting ready for her birth and then becoming new parents again when that's not what we expected to be doing in this stage of life. And she was born uh, with some minor complications. We had a short stay in the NICU five days after she was born. And she had some colicky tendencies, so some long days and long nights of screaming on end. We had not experienced that with our other children. And so there were some difficult, difficult stages. But we were so happy even then, of course, to be her parents and to have the joy of another life in the house and now she is nine months old and she's all giggles and smiles and the colicky season for her has passed and we're grateful for that we know that that's not always the case for people but she's not a particularly fussy baby at this point and we are just all filled with the light and wonder as she is exploring the world and we're grateful to have her in the house especially right now when we're in a season where we're all in the house together most of the time so we dwell with her and we delight in her and we are so grateful to be a part of her family and I've been thinking about that in terms of the way that God views us because we are told in scripture that God is like our parent, like our mother and our father. And in Genesis, we are told that when God created human beings, God said it is very good. And one of my favorite books of the Bible, First Peter, tells us that we can cast our anxiety and our fear on God because God cares for us. And there's also this passage in the Old Testament from the prophet Zephaniah. That may not be a book that you read often, but it has some interesting passages like all the books in the Bible do. There's a passage in chapter 3 of Zephaniah about joy, the joy that God has for us. And this is a typical book of the prophets where there is judgment against Israel for not being the blessing that they were called to be in the world, not caring particularly for the poor and the marginalized. But there's also, as in the prophets, we find typically a message of hope. If you change your ways and you live into how God is calling you to live and who God is calling you to be, you will experience the fullness of life in different ways. And so Zephaniah 3 verse 17 says, The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. God will rejoice over you with gladness. Rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in love and exalt you or sing over you with joy. Exalt you with loud singing. Sing over you with joy. Your God is in your midst. God will rejoice over you with gladness and sing over you with joy. It's such a beautiful passage. And again, it's not all warm and fuzzy in Zephaniah. It's about how we can dwell with each other and delight in each other and how God dwells with us and delights in us in all seasons of life just as Jason and I dwelled with Olivia and delighted in her when she was colicky and fussy and also when she is full of joy and giggles and smiles. God dwells with us, is in our midst and delights in us, sings over us when we are fussy and difficult and still learning what it means to be followers of Jesus in the world. And when we have these moments of clarity and compassion and connection and grace and humility with each other, God 
dwells with us and delights in us in all seasons of our lives, calling us to be the children of God and the light in this world. So that's the message that I really want you to hear today. Wherever you are, whether you are struggling and having difficult days, whether you are in a season of joy and centeredness, somewhere in between experiencing both up and down, God is in your midst. God dwells with you and within you, and God delights in you. God rejoices over you. God sings over you every day. You are not alone. God is with you. We are with each other. I hope that that brings you some peace and some joy today and throughout the week. And I look forward to being with you here again next week for Coffee with Pastor Amy. Grace and peace to you.